Hey everyone, it's September 5th, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with Australian serial killer Paul Stephen Haig, who killed six victims in the late 1970s and another while in prison. And that is him right up there. Born in 1957, Haig was put up for adoption when he was just three months old, but had a loving adopted family until he was 14 and was sent to a youth facility for committing a series of crimes, including vandalism and theft. As an adult, he had grown to be a man incapable of feeling empathy, a true psychopath who felt no remorse regardless of his actions. He was locked up for committing a string of armed robberies in 1977, and when he was released the next year, he shot and killed the proprietors of two establishments while robbing them. By 1978, Haig had told some of his friends about what he had done and decided that they knew too much and had to be eliminated. So he first killed an associate of his who had helped him commit the robberies and his girlfriend. He shot her in front of her 10-year-old son, who he consoled with a hug before killing the boy as well with three shots in the back of the head. Haig then allowed a man to sexually assault his own girlfriend at knife point so that his DNA would be found at the scene and then stabbed her 157 times. When asked why he stabbed her so many times, Haig said, I only intended to do 20, but I lost count. He was caught and convicted of six murders and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. At the time, he held the record for most murders by one individual in the state of Victoria. But in 1987, mass murderer Julian Knight killed seven, and Haig wanted to get his record back. You can scroll back to March 4th to learn more about Knight. In 1991, Haig helped a fellow prisoner hang himself by putting a noose over his neck and kicking a stool off from under him. Helped. Haig showed little no, to no remorse for any of his crimes, blaming his first victims for resisting his efforts to rob their shops, and said that the young mother he killed was a bad mom for putting her child in harm's way. He wrote a book while in prison in which he says that the loved ones of his victims need to get over their inadequacy and get on with life. In recent years, he has softened his stance in an effort to be given a chance at parole, but so far judges haven't been convinced that he should ever be released. Haig currently sits behind bars and will likely die in prison. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Paul Stephen Haig, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.